Hey, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. We got one minute until our Facebook Live tonight. We're going to do two amazing shots for you. But I just want to talk to you. I did my first oil painting today because I'm trying new things. I'm trying to be creative. I want to boost my pleasure in life. I want to boost my photography. I want to boost my skills. So I'm trying new things, just like what we want you to do. And you know, at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy, we're always here to support you and make life better for you. Can I get a wahoo, a yahoo, a like, a push, a smile, a thumbs up, even the middle finger? I don't care. Just give me a reaction on there because Cheryl's answer going to look at the questions. If you got questions, she'll ask. And in 10 seconds, 10 seconds, we'll be live on Facebook, and it's so good to have all of you here. It's Sunday night, and we're going to take two amazing pictures. It's something that you can do in your own living room, because I'm doing it here in the dining room. And it's 8.20, straight up, so we're going to start Facebook Live. This is Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy, your photo guru, because I'm here to boost your creativity on day 45 of our Be Creative Challenge. So, what are we going to do? We're going to be flashlight light painting tonight. How cool is that? So let's talk about the supplies I have. N Nikon Z7 with the 24 to 70 lens on my Getzo tripod, regular standard camera outfit. I have a quartz or tungsten flashlight and an LED flashlight. Why two different flashlights? This one's a little bit oranger. This one's a little bit bluer. And then I have two pieces of colored cellophane, red and blue. And I have two rubber bands, hair tie type rubber bands that we're going to be using to make our picture. So why use flashlight light painting? Because it's fun. You can do it after dark. It's awesome. And it's going to be a lot better light than just putting the flash on the camera where you get this barf of light all over the scene. This is 100% creative. So let's talk about the settings. So I have my camera right now on autofocus and I have auto focused on the white flower and then I'm going to press the button here to turn autofocus off. 100 ISO, f-stop 16, 20 seconds exposure and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn out the lights because you have to do this in the darkness. It's in the darkness so that we can paint, we can bring the light in. So now I'm going to hit the button and I'm going to count 20 seconds. I'm going to turn on the flashlight and I'm going to paint the subject. Now I'm using one pat flashlight on this picture. I'm painting across the picture. Why don't I leave the light standard on it? Why don't I just hold it on there? Because there's an effect to painting with the light. And I like the effect of, now there's the picture. There's my 20 seconds. Awesome, it looks pretty cool. So now I'm gonna take another one and there goes the exposure, 20 seconds. And this time I'm going to use the tungsten flashlight to backlight the subject. Seven, eight, nine. I'm counting the alligators so I know how much exposure to give. 12 seconds there. And then just a little bit of light on the foreground. Awesome. Very cool. And the cool thing about light painting like this, here we're going to do another one, is they're all going to be different. They're all unique. They're all individuals. And one of the things I love about creative photography is making different exposures and different pictures. Right? And that's the power of what we're doing with creative photography. And that's one of the things we challenge you to do at the Creative Photo Academy. Great. Oh, Cheryl, come take a look at this one. This one is so cool. Look at that, right? Awesome, right? So, does that look like something you could do with a regular picture? No. So let's try the other one. I know you can't wait to get to this other scene because what are we going to do? We're going to do a bottle of wine. Don't I know my audience there, Cheryl? Huh? We know what these people like. So now we're going to reset for a bottle of wine. We've got the 24 to 70 on, adjusting the tripod to a lower angle. And I love to photograph the wine and the wine glass because it has some great through light and you're going to get some great light coming through it. I have to reset my camera to autofocus, let it focus on the wine bottle. There we go. Now I'm adjusting my composition and I'm switching the camera from autofocus to manual because I want the focus to be standard. I'm going to turn out the lights. I'm going to put the tungsten light, the orange light in the background 
on the wine bottle and on the wine glass. Oops, I don't like that. It's a little bit too much to the side. So I gotta bring it this way a little bit. Awesome. Oh, I undid, no, I got the microphone. I'm still good. Yay, perfect. Hit the button, start my 20 alligators. There we go. And now the blue light, just paint right across the wine bottle, the wine glass. Awesome. Yes. Awesome, just like that. It's a very gentle thing, this light painting. And the one thing I love about it is the more you play with it, yes, awesome. All right, let's try it again. Now this time I think I got a little bit too much light on with the blue light, so I'm gonna go a little less. A little slower, and I'm only going to go about half the time with it. And let's see how this looks. Do we have any questions? Steve Love says hello. Hey, Steve Love, how are you? I know that this is hitting you where you live because you're dying because you can't drink the wine. That's right, you can't drink it until after we're done. And after we're done, I'm going to bring out another glass. And my cameraman and I are going to have a nice little bottle of wine here and enjoy our Sunday evening because we've earned it today, haven't we, darling? Mm -hmm. We've done a lot today and we're always here for you. So this is awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's a great picture. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the red gel and I'm going to put the red light here on the background light. to give us some great accent there. And it'll be a lot of fun. Beautiful. There we go, making the exposure. And now our little bit of blue light here. About for half of the exposure, about 10 seconds of the 20. And then we'll see what happens. Yep, that's great. Let's try one, another one here. Boom. And now I'm going to bring the blue light from this side. So we're just playing with the light. We're just experimenting because every picture is going to be different. They're all individuals. And that's one of the things I love about light painting. You know, it doesn't take a huge ton of expensive equipment. Yeah, having the 2.8 lens and the pro camera does a great job. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Come look at this one, Cheryl. This one's so awesome. I'm going to let you look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Cool. We'll bring the lights back up. All right. And gang, I just want to inspire you. I want you to get out there with your cameras. I want you to try new things. Look at what we've done here, right? So camera and lens on a tripod and a flashlight. And we're making beautiful pictures. And next, I get to have some wine with, my, with the favorite person in the whole wide world. How cool is that? At Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy, we're dedicated to you and your photography for helping you make this happen. Got a big announcement. So as of tomorrow, Tuesday, excuse me, Monday, we now have drive-up service from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. We have some more of the staff coming back. We're trying to serve you better. If you have questions, call us. If you have emails, write. We're here to help you. We're here to make it go. Tomorrow at 4 o'clock, Christy Odom is going to give an amazing presentation. It's free. You have to sign up ahead of time. And then she's going to do face. Uh, she's going to do in, um, Lightroom and Photoshop class on the weekend, the 2nd and 3rd of May. We're here to help you. We're here to help you succeed. We're here to make great pictures for you. Because at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy, we're all about your pictures and we want to help you get the best you can. Any questions? No questions? Can I get a wahoo, a yahoo, a thumbs up, a middle finger, a big smiley face from everybody? Because I had fun tonight. Did you guys have fun? Awesome. I can't wait to see you post these pictures. Do your flashlight pictures and post them. Hashtag Paul's Photo, hashtag Creative Photo Academy, and hashtag we're all together. Because gang, we're all in this together and we're going to survive and we're going to do great and we're going to make some great pictures and we're going to get some new skills by the time we get out into the big bad world and we can make great pictures together. See you real soon. I can't wait to see your pictures. Adios.